Well, hey there, friends. It's Mandy with Sweetly Home, and today I want to share with you my kids' Easter baskets. So I have two kids. I have a daughter who is five and a son who is two. So if you're interested to see what I've put in their baskets, just keep watching. So I picked these shoes up for Aubrey at Oshkosh. They were originally $25, but I picked them up for $12.99. Now I had a $20 gift card, so essentially I got these shoes for free. So here are the things that are in Aubrey's basket. First of all, Aubrey loves these Kinder Eggs, and we recently watched Inside Out, and she absolutely loves that movie. And she likes to pretend that she is joy and a mix of disgust. <laughs> so I found both of these eggs, and inside these chocolate eggs are actually toy surprises. She absolutely loves them, so I think she's gonna be really excited about these. Next, I found for her this little t-shirt at Gap. Aubrey loves to go to camp every summer, and this little shirt was so perfect. I know she's gonna love it. The camper actually has glitter all over it. She is actually preparing for camp already, and we usually don't even go until June or July. Inside this little Easter egg, I have filled with some jelly beans, and in this one, I have M&Ms. This is from the Dollar Tree. One thing that Aubrey really, really wanted in her Easter basket was a Shopkins. So I found this one at the dollar store and we have stuck this inside. Her last candy item is these itty bitty bunnies from Russell Stover. They're tiny little chocolates and they will last a really long time because the really great thing about these is I can give her, you know, two or three after she's had her dinner or tuck them inside of her lunchbox. And it's a little teeny tiny treat. It's a bit of chocolate, but it is not very much. So I really love these um, and you actually get 60 inside of here. Aubrey loves wearing bows and I found these two packages at the Dollar Tree. They are so stinking adorable. Um, I used to make bows for Aubrey so I'm kind of really picky about the layout of the ribbon itself and these ones are just adorable so I think she's going to love these. I also tucked inside these two little books that I picked up for Wal from Walmart. They were two for five dollars. This is The Princess in the Pea and this is Little Red Riding Hood. They had a huge selection of different children's classics and I would actually love to get her all of these and display them on a shelf. I think they would look super cute. Um, the illustrations are absolutely just adorable. Let's see. So we love to read to Aubrey every night before bed so I know that these are going to be a good hit. Also from the Dollar Tree are these pack of pencils. These are actually like a metallic shiny pencil and I'm hoping that she's gonna let me keep these for myself. I love to put them in my office, but I thought those were super adorable. And lastly in her Easter basket is an Elsa and Anna sticker book. She has recently kind of gotten into Frozen. Um, Aubrey actually really loves a lot of uh, Spider-Man and Hulk and things like that, but recently she has been talking a lot about Frozen, so I thought this would be fun. And she loves stickers. She has actually requested a sticker chore chart, so these would be kind of fun to use on that. So that is what is in Aubrey's basket. Her basket I actually picked up at Target three years ago. Someday I would love to actually put vinyl on the front with her name. That has always been on my to-do list, but I've just not gotten around to it. And one thing that I do is I actually just save the Easter grass from year to year. Once the kids have gone through their Easter baskets, I just kind of pull it away um, and they can just play with their toys and their treats. Um, and then I just tuck it away for the next year. So we don't have Easter grass all around the house and I'm able to just keep on recycling it. So it's not an extra expense, it's just always there and I don't even have to worry about picking it up. Plus it really matches quite well with the Easter baskets. So Colt is my two year old and this is what is in his Easter basket. So he needed some new pajamas and uh, I picked these up at Walmart. They are so super duper cute. It's it's a long sleeved shirt and a nice pair of little striped pants. I love how the cuff actually matches the sleeves. I think they're so cute. Next, he also has an Easter egg with jelly beans inside. He also has a carrot with some M&Ms. And again, I like to do these small individual sized pieces of candy so that I can just give them a couple at a time. They feel like they're getting a treat, but it's really not a large amount of candy. 
We've been looking for new cups for Colt, so I found this Bubba mug at Walmart and I thought I would give it a go. It says it's spill proof and I'm really hoping that's the case because we've had such a problem with his cup spilling. This was only $3.97, so I'm hoping if it works out good then we might get a few more of these to add to his collection and get rid of those cups that are spilling because mama hates them. Colt has been big into Play-Doh recently, so I picked him up a can of blue Play-Doh. And next he got a bag of the Itty Bitty Bunnies as well. I also got him a bag of Love Child Organic Duck Crackers. I think he will kind of love to have this. Um, they are tomato and carrot flavored. My son is absolutely obsessed with dinosaurs. Obsessed. <laughs> so I picked him up this dinosaur at the Dollar Tree. He already has two of these, so I think this one will make a great addition to his collection. I'm just hoping that he doesn't step on these spikes, though. And speaking of dinosaurs, we picked up Colt these dinosaur fruit snacks. I think he's going to love them. He loves fruit snacks anyways, and they're a bit of a treat for this house. Um, so the fact that they're dinosaurs, I think he is just going to flip. <laughs> Next, I picked up this pencil pouch from Dollarama here in Canada. Now, he is not using pencils to write with, but I thought this would be really great for his diaper bag or his little backpack that he likes to wear to stick inside his toothbrush and toothpaste and any other um, little accessories that he needs for when we go to Grandma's house. And lastly, Colt is needing some new clothes, so I picked him up this little long sleeve shirt from Walmart. And that is everything in Colt's Easter basket. So I hope you guys have a really wonderful Easter, and thank you so much for watching. Easter is one of the best holidays. We absolutely love it, and we are cherishing this time um, a family of togetherness and to celebrate the fact that Jesus died and rose again. So um, I thank you guys for watching. If you liked what you see and you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to click that button and hang around a little bit longer. I'm excited to get to know you. I hope you guys have a great day, and thanks. Bye.